Woo! I'm back. I'm Ooh, back, giant. Rich Nation. I'm back in this thing. What's going on? What's happening to everybody? I hope everybody, each and every one of y'all, is having a blessed day today. You know this is your boy, Mike Rich, and I just got off a vacation. Uh, last time I went to Jamaica and I did a vlog on the Rich's Vlog channel. This time I just stayed in the States. Too much you gotta do COVID test and all that stuff when you go out of town, when you leave in the country. So I just stayed in the States this time and went on down to good old South Florida and spent four days down there with my wife. If y'all do want to check out that vlog, a lot of a lot of y'all like to see the uh, vacation vlogs. I used to put them on this channel, but I decided to move them to the Richest channel for the people who just want to see sneakers. You feel me? So, um, like I said, I went down to uh, Florida, had a good time, and uh, I just got back uh, like yesterday, so going back to work tomorrow so i want to take the day to rest but i also want to take the day to uh drop a couple of videos for y'all so anyway if you do want to see the miami vacation vlog caution this is just a disclaimer that vlog is an hour long i don't even think i got no videos on this channel i think the longest i've been on a video on this channel was like 48 minutes 45 minutes that that video is an hour long so if you don't like long videos it might not be for you but it's entertaining we did a lot of different stuff really didn't talk about sneakers too much but you want to check if you like my vacation vlogs you want to check it out head to the riches right i think the link below in the description for the riches vlog channel um one thing i was mad i didn't do when i went out there because i brought a, i brought some dope kicks i brought like white um white cement uh jordan ford and excuse me because throat got a little something going on over his allergies a little gungas i don't know excuse me i'm talking like <clears throat> swallowing clear my throat a couple times i'd be all right but um uh one thing i didn't do is bring my rejuvenator i didn't bring none of my rejuvenator wipes well i'm actually out of wipes and um, I didn't open my rejuvenator packet, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it right now and see if they sent me some stuff. Then I'm gonna get into this shoe that I'm really late on. Like I said, I was supposed to review this shoe before I went on vacation, but I didn't get around to do it. I did that mall vlog, and I, I did that mall, what was the mall vlog? And uh, oh, the Jordan 6 um, pickup vlog, I did that right before I went on vacation. And like, I'm, I'm literally uploading the video as I'm walking out the door, finna go catch my flight. So that, that's why that was the last video I was able to get in. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what um, the premium shoe cleaner guy sent me. So, some rejuvenator action. I did get me wipes on deck, you feel me? Shout out to rejuvenator, man. Sneaker wipes are on deck right here. Bow! Sneaker cleaner wipes, you gotta have these on you at all times especially when you're going on vacation you rocking shoes you might not be able to just break a whole sneaker cleaning kit down and wash your shoes you get your um you just rip this tab off right here open that guy up and you got your sneaker cleaner wipes individually wrapped pull them things out wipe down your shoes and i had like i said i had white cements i wore my uh us open uh agassi tech challenge joints down there if y'all want to see my fits that I wore on vacation, you can either watch. Well, I ain't really show the fits on the video, so if y'all want to see the fits, sometimes some people do, some people don't. Some people I don't care what you had on, Rick. Some people, some people like man, I don't, but I don't care what you were wearing down there, Rick. Who care? I don't even care about your vacation, dog. Hey, you talking about? You know what I'm saying? But if you do, follow me on Instagram, Rich underscore Mike twenty three, and check out the fits that I wore. I didn't bring a lot of sneakers like I wanted to bring because I was still kind of like going off of the. I packed in Jamaica and Jamaica when you're on a resort you don't really care about being too fresh wearing a lot of heat when you on a resort and you're on another in another country but in Florida I want to jump for I forgot to damn I'm going to Florida I should have packed some more sneakers that's my bad but I did still squeeze out a couple of simple but clean fits with some dope sneakers on also they sent me another rejuvenator full kit going on right here um, and this kit consists of your sneaker cleaner uh, right here your sneaker cleaning brushes right here you get three of them your soft medium and your hard bristle brushes um, you also get your rejuvenator cleaning uh, microfiber cleaning uh, cloth you get your uh, laundry bag where you put your little laundry pods inside and clean your shoes and you also have your shoe trees right here to stretch your shoes out while you're cleaning them man all this stuff um, comes in the rejuvenator sneaker cleaning kit so y'all click the link below in the description I already have 10% off uh, built into my link 
for Rejuvenator and get you 10% um, off your order. So shout out to Rejuvenator uh, for sending me these dope products through. I could have used these sneaker wipes on vacation. I will not forget again. Please believe that. Um, but next up, let's go ahead and get into the uh, shoes. I am late on this shoe. Uh, as you can see by the box, you kind of already know where it is, but I did want to give my humble opinion on these things before I let y'all go. You feel me? Like I said, I was supposed to review this shoe days ago. This is actually not my pair. This is my guy Retro's pair. Um, I don't know if these came in extended sizes or not. I think they came up to a women's 12, which I wouldn't have been able to get them anyway if that's the case. Let me um let me look and see what size they came in. Yeah, so I'm looking at GOAT right now, and a women's size 12 is the biggest size that I see, which is a men's size uh, 11, what, 10 and a half? Yeah, 10 and a half men's. So they didn't come in my size anyway, apparently, but I wasn't really tripping on the shoe anyway. I didn't really care if it came in my size. And the resale on those sizes is not actually not that bad. It's still going for like pretty close to retail if, I, if I'm looking at it right. Yeah, I'm seeing 210, 205, 195, 190. It's like 100 and something. Like these are pretty much going for retail. So y'all comment below and let me know if y'all think that means something or is it just this specific shoe? Do y'all think that mean resale might be kind of like falling off a little bit or do y'all think like, man, that's, that's just that shoe don't nobody want it. Y'all comment below and let me know. So without further ado, as you can see, this is a small size and I don't really like reviewing sizes that's really small, especially if it's not close to my size. I, I like reviewing size men's 12 that's what i like reviewing on my sneakers but beggars can't be choosers with this one i could have bought a bigger size in this shoe but i wouldn't you know like i said it wouldn't have been my size because they did not come in my size and that is <laughs> Bow! the air jordan one og high women's exclusive uh court purple are they court purple what are we calling these these are yeah, it says court purple. So how many times are we gonna have court purple? Uh, <laughs> that'd be the name. That'd be the like the colorway they they use on every shoe with purple in it. Even though the purples be looking slightly different, cause this court purple might. I, it, from looking at it, I don't have none of my court purples no more. But from looking at it, it's probably it's slightly darker than the other court purples. I could be wrong. Like I said, I don't have none of my court purple sneakers. I sold all of them. Um, bottoms. You know what I'm saying? The shoe is a white, just a plain white Air Jordan 1. And it's like it's made like a metallic Jordan 1. The red metallics look like this. The blue metallics look like this too. They got the metallic, kind of like shiny uh, metallic purple going on at the top. Same thing with the swoosh right here. Same thing with the Jordan uh, wing logo. Got kind of like a glittery effect on the wing logo right there. And that's a little bit different from what I'm used to seeing. Y'all tell right there. Let's shot probably can't tell. But um, fire. I mean, it's a dope shoe. I, even if they came my size, I wasn't going crazy about them. For some reason, it's like I don't have nothing against purple, but I like it to be with other colors. I don't know. I don't know. Because like one of my favorite shoes in my collection is the Air, my Air Max 98 Cone, which is purple and uh, orange, kind of like Phoenix Sun colorway. Shout out to Phoenix Suns, by the way. But yeah, that. I mean, I like purple when, it, when they put a couple of like creative colors with it. Just purple and white, uh, I ain't really going crazy about so the inside right here, the lining on the inside is kind of like this satin. It looks satin. I noticed they go on satin on the inside of the tongue as well. I noticed they use satin a lot on the women's uh, exclusive releases. Tumble leather is pretty good. I don't know if y'all can kind of tell, but it has really decent tumble leather. One of the women's exclusives had some of the best tumble leather, and that was the like UNC, the Chicago ones that came out a couple years ago. Tumble leather on that shoe was dope. I sold it. I had it in, I actually had it in my size, a women's 13 and a half. Kind of one of the ones I kind of regret selling. I don't know how much they're going for on resale, but I might I might have to take a look. I might have to take a gander, if you will. Uh, the shoe do come with purple, court purple laces going on right here, which I'm not surprised, but I would definitely just keep the whites in myself, the white. I mean, Jordan ones with white in them, if they, even if they just got a white mix, so I love the white laces in. I, I mean, I just that's just how I drip Jordan ones. So I like the fact that it seemed like he got a really, really high cut on it. I don't know if they, they, that was intentional that they did that. I don't know if it looked like that because I have a smaller size shoe, but it looked like it got a really, really high cut. I love my Jordan 1s with a really high cut on it. Just remind me of the OGs um, that came out back in the day. So anyway, that's my slick little review on the Air Jordan 1 OG high court purple things. Um, like I said, do all the stuff that I was telling y'all, if you want to, go and check out my uh, Miami uh, four day Miami, Fort Lauderdale, South Florida vlog that I did. It's an hour long, so 
case yourself, y'all go ahead and uh, click the link below in the description for uh, Rejuvenator. Also, this Cuzzo shirt that I got on is pretty fly as well with the Cuzzo bear. And I do have the link below in the description. I think I got a code Mike Rich for um, 20 or 30% off, so y'all do that as well, man. So that's it, man, for this video. I appreciate y'all for watching. Rich Nation, I'm back. I got more videos coming up. There's not a lot of sneakers that I like coming up. So we going I might do an upcoming sneaker release vid and tell y'all what I like and what I don't like. Y'all comment below if y'all wanna see that. But man, like I I mean, I've been it's been a struggle to get videos up just because not only because of work, but because I don't have a lot of stuff that I'm looking forward to. I ain't even gonna count. I would be, I would, I'm gonna be 100% honest with y'all. There's a couple of sneakers I'm looking forward to, but usually this time of year, I'm like getting really amped up and excited for what holiday sneakers gonna come out and what summertime sneakers dropping. They dropping a lot of dunks. And they've been saving me a little bit money because I'm not, like, like Nike been spending a lot of money on dropping uh, Nike dunks, and I'm not a dunk fan. So I've been chilling on a lot of those releases. On Anyway, you know what I'm saying? So, but it's some Jordan ones coming up. It's some different, it's some different stuff coming up. Y'all to see more videos for me, more opinion based videos, couple of vlogs. You know, y'all know how Mike Reach do it, man. So anyway, I appreciate y'all, Rich Nation, for watching this video. Hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them and keep watching my video could dish what I'm here for gone spaceship going to the moon on them yeah Call up the plug, hit me a link. Early kids from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as the bless, thank God for the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just my hit. With richest kids, I mean my rich. Yeah, ballin' all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going on the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. My rich friends, shout that's what I got to give for. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. Gone. All the way up to the moon on them. What's happening there, buddy? Yeah. Life so lighty, daddy. Bless. Hit that Nike store just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby. Then yeah. we fly to Abu Dhabi, then we gone straight up to the moon on them.